Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it is day 20, we're about to kick off here on the third season and today I think we are going to get Perilous Moons completed. The last time we tried fighting any of the bosses it did not go too well and we ended up dying and losing Scurry but we have improved, we have evolved, we have mutated, whatever you want to call it and I think that now we should be able to get it done. But of course, we're going to start off with our burbs and our herbs. We do need to buy our seeds, which is why I just got myself a well. Let's crack these out first real quick. Yeah, I think we're going to finish Perilous Moons today. I don't see any reason why not. Since we were last in the dungeon, we've upgraded our Moonlight Potion from Standard to Super on both the Attack and Strength front. So that is going to help out a lot with DPS in the bosses, as well as the defense training that we're planning to do. We've got 25k to gain before we get a defense level, which we're going to do before the bosses. I don't think that's going to take us very long at all, because our XP rates were already at like 90k the other day, and that was when we had the standard dose, not the supers. So I think our training is going to go a lot quicker than you might expect. All right, we'll slap these in and get ourselves some Renars. Hopefully they're not too bad. Oh, that's a very reasonable price. They're actually lower than that. Okay, let me go 24,500, see if I can get them for that price. If I can, I'll get three days worth. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, it's still, like, more expensive than we were paying when we started doing them, but at least it is uh, a reasonable price for now. Okay, is that everything? Need a spade. Good to go. We will just collect the rest of them as well, may as well. Yeah, 25k defense XP. I reckon 10 minutes, but we'll see. There's a farming level to kick the day off. 44. It does get us up to 1225 total level. Ever climbing here. Oh, I used an energy restore rather than a teleport. I'm done. Yeah, click ones are worth more in a minute. Feels like Renars have stabilized a bit again. I don't know why they were so turbulent for a week or so, but they feel like they're, they're becoming more stable again now, which is great. Consistency over anything for our farm runs is, is what we're looking for. I think we're actually now just one level away from being able to get into the farming guild, which isn't major because we won't have access to the herb patch there, but it is nice. It means that we'll be able to trade in a spirit seed that we got from fucking years ago for a seed pack. Because we're never going to grow a spirit tree on this account. <laughs> ever, 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 ever. Oh, this vampire's going to aggro me, I know. Immediately. Oh, no. Oh, come on. There we go. End of a clean six for six day. You do love to see it. 51 Renars for the trouble. Very nice indeed. One day of Renars pays for like three days of seeds at the current prices, so basically tripling our profit, tripling our money by doing this. Okay, not gonna waste any time. Gonna get straight on to the venue. Lego. Oh, DDS too. It's fine, because we'll be banking the room pouch. Gonna just sip a stam as well. Don't wanna run out of energy on my way to the uh, grubs. I think I've actually figured out a slightly, slightly, slightly quicker way of getting to the grubs. So let's see. Oh, I forgot to do my runes. Yeah, if we come this way, and this way, then this way. I don't know, it's probably about the same actually now I'm thinking about it. This might be better on the run energy, but the time it takes is like the same. I wonder if you can use a vial on... No. I shouldn't actually need too many potions here, because we'll be leaving to bank. 
when we uh, get our defense level, so I'll leave it there. Okay, let us get to work. Oh, look at that, plus 14, plus 14, it's so beautiful. Casual double 15s. Oh, 44 death runes right off the bat, that's so nice. How about a 35 DDS spec to go with it? Oh, I shouldn't be picking the Sulphurus up yet, should I? I mean, I suppose technically we could drop it when we go to bank and then pick it up again, but that'd mean having an invent space for that rather than food during the bosses, which I think is just a bad idea. So it is still climbing, but at the minute it's saying we're on about 83k an hour, which is expecting 15 minutes for a level. I feel like it's still going up, but maybe I'm tripping. Guess we'll see in a few minutes. I can't state enough as well, like, how much the fact that we constantly say full pots, like, makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Because normally you're like, well, I only just drank a potion dose, I don't really want to drink another one so soon. I'll wait till it gets down to at least halfway before I report. And that's just, like, less efficient, which makes sense, because it's more resource efficient. But it's just so nice to be able to be like, yeah, I'm always on plus 14, plus 14. I don't take 10 damage every time I drink a pot. Farming divines, it's not costing me any money. Oh, I love this fucking place. It's so good. It's going to be even better once we have chivalry and piety. I looked up, by the way, piety we do need 70 defense for, actually. Not just 65. But we will have access to chivalry at least, which is still a massive buff from what we're currently using. And when we do get up to the 70 defense, we'll get that piety as well, of course. There's no reason for us not to do the burst in before the melee, once we've unlocked the burst in, so probably will end up doing. Because if we can get our defense up by burst in to unlock piety, it just depends how fast the defense XP comes in while we're bursting, because I don't know what it's going to look like yet. Oh, 60 death runes. So nice. It's definitely helping. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to stockpile any chaos and death runes that I get as funds for bursting. Like, they're not going to come through too often here, but if we do get them, I think we should just keep hold of them for bursting. Just makes sense. Like, the profit would make it as negligible, so just saves us having to buy them again in the end, right? And also putting them up on the exchange and whatnot. It seems kind of stable at about 90k at the minute. I'll keep an eye on it, see if it changes any further, but seems to be around where we're at right now. Which puts us just under 10 minutes to the level, so probably a bit over what I estimated, but hey ho. Actually, I've been feeling like this place is so good. I came here on my main the other day just to try it out to see if it scaled up as well as it, it seems at this level and I was wearing full blood rage set because I have it which is a double hitting weapon a, a better double hitting weapon than this one and it has better strength bonus obviously my account's high level too I was getting like I think about 180k an hour attack xp I think I was on attack I can't remember might have been on strength getting like 180k an hour just chilling here afking I only stayed for like half an hour, got the sulfur blades within that half an hour, <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty good even at a, a higher level account to turn melee stats, like that's more efficient than Nightmare Zone, at least without the full Darox, but you know, same gear setup, it's more efficient than Nightmare Zone, and about as AFK, of course you do lose aggro over here eventually, and you have to keep pointing, but it's not like there's anything difficult ever to keep track of here, I think we may have just lost aggro. Actually, you gonna stand next to one so I can tell anybody flying towards me. Okay, so I'm gonna lead this one up here a bit and just reset my aggro by leaving, coming back. Pretty sure this will work. Yep, straight back on me. The fact that these guys have any drops at all is honestly just a blessing. Like, the fact that I'm even making profit here while spending literal zero money is kind of weird. Like, that doesn't happen that often. You usually at least have your, like, your potions and your food to stay somewhere. I don't know, it's not a lot of profit, but, like, you don't get much for free in this game, so... I think I'm just gonna take these sapphires, seeing as though we'll be banking very soon. Oh, they drop two at a time as well. Unless I just had four drops in a row in the same spots. No, they do, do drop two at a time. Interesting. Interesting that these aren't nerd. Oh my gosh. Did I not make enough potions? Oh, you can get six kills in this potion. What am I talking about? <laughs> It's actually like I made almost the perfect amount, which is good. We like our efficiency here. Unexpected, but good. 
Oh, how about a 43? How about a 40 fucking 3, mate? Enjoy that, enjoy that. You can have it for dinner, free of charge. Not even gonna finish the kill. We're out of here. 60 defense, we are now base 60s in our combat stats. All the way through the list. Very nice indeed. I didn't buy a super defense, did I? I'm not going back to the G at this point. It's okay, we don't need it. We are queen, I guess. I was going to say kings, but playing a female character, so... <laughs> okay. First one up is going to be the Eclipse Moon again. Oh, uh, I'm. You know what? I'm actually going to bring my rune pouch in case I die, so I can teleport back here quickly. Just in case, you know. Should have stammed as well. Gonna suffer that. What is this spec? Dealing attack which hits through protect from melee with 25 cent increase. Nah, that's no good. We're not DDS still. Put this on to strength though now. Let's just check all the styles while we're slow walking. We got this on crush. We got this on slash. We got four and a bit. Now let's just drop this here so we can get an extra fish in. Make sure we have a completely full invent. Okay, and then we pick the potion back up for the fishing net. Oh my gosh, I didn't bring my book! No, I've got no offhand. That can't be good. That can't be good. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna put on rapid heal as well. Let's get every advantage we can. All right. Start off with. In fact, I think I'm just gonna do all my specs every time because the fights are that slow anyway. Okay, some decent hits. 20's our max hit with this gear, apparently. At least on this phase of him. I need to get my low detail on off so I can see. There we go. Holy, that was the first nasty hit. I think if we get hit, we're just gonna have to eat. Because, like, if he hits us, if he misses us with the first attack, we know we're not gonna get hit on the next ones. We're safe. But if he hits us with the first attack, then we're just gonna be taking constant damage. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I think we're doing okay here. Okay, we got another spec phase. I'm not going to use any more specs of my own. I want to save them for the next boss. Because I'm hoping to enter on 100% for the next one. Okay, nice clean phase. Couple more hits. There we go. First one down, y'all. First one down. We didn't even have to repeat the cutscene either. Let's go. All right. Time to top up on some food and some prayer. I think we're good for potions, to be fair. So I'll just make sure I have a full invent of food. I don't know which food is better still, but in fact, let's just sip that so that we have an extra slot. I think that should probably give us enough. Let's see. Plenty. Oh, we're only on 70%, but we'll be okay, won't we? I think it might actually be worth using this spec so we can stay on crush. Oh, we're about to go into it, one of their special phases. Oh no, we've just come out of one. Okay, now we got a spec. Okay, first spec phase clean. Well, not clean, but cleaned. Cleared? That's the word I was looking for. Got all our hammer specs off, that's fourth. Okay, through the second spec, hopefully we don't have to do a third on this one. Probably will, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, I moved too early. That's terrible. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Definitely gonna have another spec. Ugh. I swear she's had less health than that before. It's like me lighting the braziers didn't even counteract it. She keeps stalling me from attacking as well, it's just so annoying. Come on, please let me finish this. Yes, there we go. Two down, y'all, two down. Right, I'm actually just gonna go make sure I'm topped up fully. This next one could be the biggest pain yet, so let's grab some more food. Oh, I don't have a rope. I feel like two full portions should be plenty. Right then, last one. All done one, one-handed equipment-wise. Is it here? That one, I think it's this one, isn't it? Get that dragon dagger ready. We don't have full specs, but use whatever we damn well can. Make sure it's not on a Jaguar before I go in. Okay, it's on the rain phase, we may as well wait. And get in there though, so that we're ready. Lovely specs. 
Now this one's going to be the most annoying because it heals itself constantly when it damages us. So... It's just going to win the DPS war. We could be here all day. I guess for the next 17 minutes. So far so good. That was not good. Please stop hitting me so much. Oh, it keeps healing so much. Oh, I think I did like seven damage to all that phase. No. Okay, we're making progress. It's slow, but it's slow and steady. As long as she doesn't absolutely fuck me and just like heal up to half, then we're good. Okay, she just healed up like 200 hit points, but whatever. Fuck, we didn't make any progress on that phase. Come on, big hits. Any hits, really, I'll take any hits. Just stop healing! Actually running low on pots now as well, because this is taking so fucking long. Oh, stop! I hate this bitch. This might be the one that stops us, y'all. It's not looking very pretty. No, no. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Big hits, big hits, big hits, big hits. No, 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 no. No. We had it down to 20. Oh, you couldn't. Is almost out. <laughs> Please. Please. It has to be before the next spec because we don't have her. Nah. I'm out. Oh, that's really frustrating. That is very, very frustrating indeed. But it's okay. It's okay. We're not stressing. I'm going to do a very quick reset. Get myself a divine super defense. If I can. One dose. Jeez. Gosh, what the fuck? Why can't I buy regular super defense? Whatever. Okay, we're gonna make sure we get our book this time. And we're just gonna go try again straight away. I'm hoping that the extra defense levels will mean we get hit less and thus the boss heals less. And the extra strength bonus from our book might slightly increase our DPS. So that's that's what we're going for here, folks. <sighs> I'm probably a bit too close to the end of the day, to be honest, but I want to try and get this done, even if it means I miss a birdhouse. I do need to prepare again now, though. That's not the right place. Fucking hell. You know, I might actually bring food and just prep potions to save time. It'll cost us a bit of money, but save the time. That I'll have to do. Should have stand. Every fucking time. Every single fucking time. Please, give me some good RNG on this attempt. That's all I'm asking for. That should be plenty. Do I want to stock up on food? I don't think it matters. Like, we weren't running out of food so much as we just weren't able to out DPS. So I don't, I don't know if the food matters that much. Maybe I could have brought myself some Karam one so I could combo eat, but at least we're on 100% spec this time. Come on, folks. I need your moral support with me right now. I'm channeling all the energy of my fans into this attempt right now. It's the hardest DPS check we've faced on this account so far. I'm gonna dive right on in and get to work. Okay, I actually want to save the other specs for when she gets lowish. So, just saving one for now. Because we have so much back and forth in this. Like, it's gonna heal up anyway. So, if I get it to like 150, and I can just slap four specs at it. That'll be lovely. Helps if I don't heal the boss like ten times in that phase though. I feel like we're doing alright, but then every time I do, it just heals fucking 300 HP. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get this today, y'all. It's just constant healing. And I'm just having to eat to keep up with fucking damage it's dishing on me. Oh my gosh, I went the wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna throw some specs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you can do it. 
one more phase. That's all we have to do. One more phase without any disgusting heals. Don't make any mistakes here or it'll heal. Come on, clean Jaguars. Clean. Come on. We got spec back in one sec. Yes! Let's fucking go! Holy shit! Oh my gosh, we're not even gonna have a chance to finish that. And I don't care at all. I don't care at all. Let's go do our birdhouse run. Oh, I'm so glad we got that done. I'm so fucking glad we got that done. <sighs> the relief I am feeling right now. I'm still fucking clicking all over the place like a madman. Didn't bring a jeweling ring. So we just have to go talk to some bitches and we've done and loot the chest. But we're not going to get to do any of that today. Do I have a wealth on me even? Don't think I do, do I? Could have gone back to the G and sold up some of that dragon equipment that we no longer need. Can we wear obsidian now as well? I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, that'll be our new best in slot. I need to grab myself some of that for training, which could cost a pretty penny. I don't even know what our cash stack looks like right now. Pop over to the bank. If we even have the energy together. Oh, I've, I've been so tense for like the past 30 minutes. Feels so good to have that done. Just recharging. No point going to the G at this stage. What a day, folks. I genuinely wasn't sure if we are going to finish that. Once we started fighting the Blood Moon, I thought, fuck, this is not looking good. That doesn't give strength bonus, that doesn't give strength bonus. None of these are relevant other than the DDS. So we'll be getting rid of all of that shit. And our Rune Arrow armor tomorrow. Which should make us a bit of profit at least, which is nice. We've still got our fucking Renar Seeds. I'm just trying to get an idea of what our earnings have been recently, because I haven't really consolidated anything. I suppose we got those to sell as well, haven't we? And then the cash stack itself. Two days worth of Renars. Let's just see. Got about 3.3 mil, which isn't too bad. There's still money in Miscellanea 2, of course. It's not too bad. Obsidian's probably going to cost like 1 mil for the, the chest and the legs, though. I haven't locked it up yet, so that's quite expensive. We'll have another 300 and whatever K of Renars coming into tomorrow, so that's nice. But really, I'm aiming for that Brimstone next before the Obsidian anyway. To get Brimstone Ring, we're going to need to get this up to about 4 mil, which is a lot. I don't know if we're going to get there easily just by herbs and stuff. I may well end up selling the Fury, as long as we don't make a loss on it because the Brimstone Ring would be more impactful for our magic training than the Fury. We'd probably just want a Dragon Bone Necklace anyway for price sustain. So I may end up going for the Brim ahead of the Fury, as it turns out, and then picking up the Fury again later down the line when we have more disposable income. I'll just have to see how I feel about that when I've looked at prices of things, and Obsidian as well and whatnot. But yeah, I guess we don't need... Oh no, we do need that until we get the Obsidian. Yeah, it's been a good day. Been a solid, solid day. We only got 60k XP today, standard Hunter and Farmer, along with 25k Defense XP to get ourselves up to level 60, 12.5k Hit Points, 10k Strength from the bosses we just did, tiny bit of cooking, and a bit of attack as well. We finally killed the bosses. I'm excited to go loot the chest just in case there's something spicy inside, because if there is, that might solve our brimstone issues all on its own. You know, give me that cheeky blood moon tacits for however much they're fucking worth, which is a ridiculous amount. That's what I'm looking for, that sort of action. But we'll have to see tomorrow if that is the case, because today we have run out of time. If you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to leave a like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join the family of widowed fans. Probably need a better name, uh, stoners. <laughs> Most of my fans seem to be stoners, but I don't want to be uninclusive to people who aren't, but... <laughs> Blaze Squad? I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking now. Give me some hype in the comments for the Perilous Moon's defeat though. Those bosses were tough at this combat level, let me tell you. But base 60s apparently is enough to get the job done with a bit of hard work. Alright, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.